Matthew Fitzpatrick having flirted with the penalty area at 17. Coming through quite a bit of fringe grass, gave it a little bit extra. Oh, good heavens. Well, that is outrageous, isn't it? Just trying to get a bit more length. You get the lob wedge, it comes out a bit too high. That one there coming out low, may even be the gap wedge. That but it's a beautiful shot. Go on, get it. Oh, what a start, Dom, you're right. Incredible. Patrick is aiming this little chip shot. He's aiming to chip this off the green. Stun it down the slope. I think he's played a gem here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, he's holding. What a lovely shot. Now that is a little bit of magic. Oh, so many guys hold this one. It's right to left, and now it goes up there. Now it's going to come back at the hole. Yep. Very well read there. Matthew Fitzpatrick. Not to start, this is just a little left of the flag. Then it will wander from left to right. Oh, the left than he would have wanted. It. It's making its way down there. How about that for judgment? An astonishing goal from the second day. Fitzpatrick is on the white knight, isn't he? that semi-cut of uh, rough ball slightly above his feet kind of aim straight at the pin let it turn over to the, the fatter side of the green quite comfortably I've got the big bounce off the down slope it's going better and better by the second well he's picking up where he left off last year isn't he Matt Fitzpatrick right to the seventh two great examples examples of the difficulty of the greens here at Valderrama. This is on a little downslope, which is a great thing. Because if he chooses to, he can fly this into a, a little upslope and release it back to it. Right there. Right there. How's that shot? What a bunker shot that was. So good. A surprise. He's just trying to save par, walks off with a birdie three. Oh, Fitzpatrick. And just pulled it in the front door. This was at the second, it wasn't the best of approaches. An awkward shot on the downslope all the way across the green. But when you have the skill that Fitzpatrick possesses, it's really not a problem. It's back-to-back -back birdies and he's into the top ten. Back Pretty tough yeah. opening examination, this one. It was downwind first, eh? Piece of cake. Try the nine on, not today. Just going to feed it around the tree and just try and cut it into the pin here. Fitzpatrick. <coughs> well, that one again. This was. Uh, we'll keep running out too. It's running out. We couldn't, could it? Oh. A dandy of a shot. A little bit of element of good fortune, but he played it perfectly. Nice one, Billy. Yeah, that angle, it almost functioned a little bit like a half pipe. 367 yards. And how about this for a tee shot? Down the left-hand side, hugging it. Downhill once you get over the brow of the hill, and it runs as it should do on Lynx Golf. And how about this for a tee shot? All the way down onto the green. So he's one down at the moment, coming off a great week, obviously in Switzerland, where he was runner-up. Could he hold the putt from left to right? Well, of course he could. It's Patrick, he's second up the hill. Stunning golf shot. See any reason why he shouldn't excel on a, a layout like here? No wind to speak of. It's just a matter of how softly he can get this thing to come down. First nine feet when it hits the deck. Brilliant. Just brilliant there. What a start from Fitzpatrick. 
most important here. Keep the grip so soft, just keep that club head moving. But the ball needs to come off so soft because it's really fast. He has done it again. This is a good flag to get at 154 yards. Good chance to make himself another birdie. Little twirl of the club. He knew it was destined to be fairly adjacent. Nice to have you back, Jamie. Any Yorkshire in the middle of England? That's a beauty. This is the Englishman Fitzpatrick. My word, this boy can part. Look at this, it's like Shelley Pease. Set him up with 144, back into the breeze, flags not moving, but up above the treetops. Patrick was way left of that with his second, so he must have played three to here. And he's still trying to chip and putt to save his part. Or just a chip. Forget about the putt. Beautifully played. Go on, give us a smile. Go on. Come you know, on. as well as he chips, Rob, I can't understand why at times he chips cross handed. It's a good feeling on the handy those key. I wouldn't know. You do. I'll tell you about it. Mm, I'm sure I'll hear about it. <laughs> a couple Patrick, of times. it's 14. Oh, <laughs> I like it. I like. Oh, I thought it was going to go in the hole. Off the backboard. <laughs> go on, you can smile. The car park then seemed miles away, and yet because the village is not there, it's just round the corner. That's Fitzpatrick on his way to 16. Yeah, another stunner. Back you go, on you go. That's done, three. Can Fitzpatrick finally hold a putt? Yes, he can. As we go to number seven. With Patrick. This is all good. Hang on. Hang on. And he finds the bottom surface and he's got it all the way back there as well. another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.